In an ongoing Fox 23 investigation, we've been telling you about the increasing problem with homelessness. Tulsa's investigative reporter Jana Clark has been digging in into these stories about this issue for several years now. Now she looks into how more families are struggling with the increasing costs of just about everything and how many people in green country are closer to being homeless than ever before. Jana talked to a pastor about what one church is doing to make a difference they think will matter. Thank you very much. Every Friday morning, Church That Matters in Sand Springs gives away food like bananas, muffins, potatoes. and potatoes. They gave me great big five pound potatoes today. Debbie Marshall says she gets food here because she needs it. I know I've had some financial setbacks, you know, uh, so therefore I, I really appreciate getting to come up here. The church hands out six to 8,000 pounds of food every week, something that started during the pandemic because Pastor Rusty Gunn says they saw a need. So you started this during the pandemic? Yes. And never stopped? And haven't stopped. We see the need, I mean, the stories we hear every week, how the food would make a change in a person's day or life. Rusty's seen a change in who comes through the line. Who are the people that you're helping? And now we're seeing people, even in our community, who I would say are somewhat affluent, or you would at least think so. It's just that inflation has impacted everybody, and so any opportunity to ease the, the burden on your pocketbook. You started to see a shift. Yeah. When do you think that was? Uh, I would say in the last probably eight months has been a big shift. The people we're encountering are different demographics than what we had seen previously. And are you talking about people who are working? Yes, people who are working. Do you notice any sense of you know, embarrassment or anything like that from these folks? So we, we have, we've seen that reluctance to come in. We do keep a record of who comes through. And so some are a little bit more reluctant to share their information in the beginning because of some embarrassment or uh, feelings of you know, shame. Think they just don't want to ask for help? I think so. People will tell us that they hate that they're having to come and receive because they used to be the people who would give. And so they're, they're struggling with that. That's tough. It is hard. It's so hard. <laughs> and in some ways, it's good for people to, to really understand and experience, to have more empathy for others in, in their moments of need. Since the pandemic, more people are becoming homeless for the first time. Between 2021 and 2022, that number rose by 25%. The reason? Many pandemic resources went away and housing costs keep going up. So does everything else. Do you think that's one reason people are struggling just because they're seeing everything go up? Like gas, like food, like utilities. Oh, it's astronomical. It's just out of, the, out of reason, you know? Yeah, potatoes, for instance. They, you can't hardly find a bag of potatoes under $5. I mean, I used to fill my car up for like $25 and now it's like 40 or 50. I bought a bottle of ketchup yesterday and it was almost $7 because utilities have gone up and interest has gone up and uh, you know, inflation is just impacting the food bill and fuel and everything else. Rusty wants to keep people in their homes. He thinks giving them food will help. It's why his church bought this old bread outlet building that's just around the corner from the church. Inside, empty shelves. Volunteers will fill them up with food and make this place a grocery store. It will be open in the evenings so families can shop and get what they need for free. It's kind of just like grocery shopping. It is, yeah. So I feel like it gives a little bit more dignity to go in and have that experience rather than walking through a food line where you're just receiving a box. Uh, you really get a shopping experience. They'll use a points system based on the size of their family. You'll have an opportunity to earn some points even if you were to volunteer to help others. And so we'll be able to, to engage with people a little bit more that way. So people are able to give back. Absolutely. The church is sticking with their theme, Church That Matters, and calling the grocery store Matter Mart. Rusty knows this does matter. It can mean the difference in a family keeping their home or becoming homeless. What do you hope is the end result? Well, ultimately, it's all about the glory of God for us. It's all about people coming and experiencing Christ and his love for them. That's our end game. In the middle of that, 
you know, it's, it's hand out a cup of cold water, it's hand out food in Jesus' name, and the opportunity to uh, bridge the gap for people. In Sand Springs, covering news that matters. Jana Clark, Fox 23 News. The pastor told Jana families who shop at Matter Mart can't volunteer their time and earn more points to shop. The Mart will be open a couple evenings a week. He says there's no set opening date yet, but they are working hard to get it open as soon as possible. We will keep you updated through this story on Fox23.com under the Investigates tab. Do you have a tip or issue that you think Jana Clark should investigate? Let us know. Email fox23investigates at fox23.com or call 918-388-5354 or search Fox 23 Jana Clark on Facebook.